Well, hello and welcome. Today our show is about health and rejuvenation. And I'm wondering if you know that rejuvenation is always a possibility for you, right? But for most, they're not going to rejuvenate their body. And I'm going to tell you why. They're not willing to do the work to really create a different lifestyle, right? Lifestyle is everything. So if you've got a lifestyle, uh, a sedentary lifestyle, for instance, how do you really change that? How many times have you tried going to the gym and then you stopped or going for a walk or going for a run or going, going out and exercising in some way, but you stopped? How many times have you told yourself that you're going to not eat the, uh, the pie or the, uh, the sugar, uh, you know, the massive sugar at night? Or how many times have you told yourself you're not going to eat at night, right? Well, for those of you, though, that want to know how to change, how to rejuvenate, and how to really take it, your life, in your lifestyle, and turn it around, this show is for you. I've got an expert guest on the show today. We're going to be talking about some products that can help you feel more vibrant, awake, and alive. And we're also going to be talking about mindset. How do you change up your mindset so that you can actually start creating the health and body wealth that you really deserve. You know, imagine being in your 70s, your 80s, your 90s, 100, and feeling vitality, feeling good, uh, a life without pain and suffering in your body. That's what we're talking about today. But you got to start where you are now. So no matter where you are, you can rejuvenate if you're willing to put in a little work. We're going to be talking about that today. I'll be right back with my guest. Are you feeling stuck or in a holding pattern with your business or life and you're not doing the things you want or love? Then at some point, you're going to be faced with a decision. You'll either choose to keep living in your comfort zone and risk a life of mediocrity or increase your courage, step into your power and forge into the unknown where everything new becomes possible. If you're truly ready to live masterfully, then you need Ken D. Foster's newest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Strategies and Wisdom to Transform Your Life One Day at a Time. This powerful but simple guide provides you with 365 days of life-transforming wisdom, profound questions, and action steps that will increase your strength and open the doors to success. Stop wondering why your business or life isn't working. The answers are available now. Imagine if you had more courage or another chance to start following your dreams. To pick up your copy of The Courage to Change Everything, visit thecouragetochangeeverything.com. That's thecouragetochangeeverything.com. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, my guest today is Ian Clark. Ian is the uh, CEO of uh, Activation Products. And, you know, he's been fueled by a purpose-driven life. When uh, he got a diagnosis that he had three years to live, it set him on a search for 
finding how to cure his body. And along the way, he came up with some amazing whole foods, natural products that can help not only him, but uh, helps everybody, which is why he founded Activation Products. Ian, great, great. it's so good to have you here on the show again today. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Ken. Yeah, it's good to see you again. You know, you're just a wealth of knowledge and information. I could, uh, I guess I, I, I need to do maybe a three hour show with you, but we're going to c- collapse uh, a whole bunch into a half hour for the audience today. And i uh, like to just uh, kind of start out with the, uh, the name of the show. I called it the Courage to Dispel Health and Aging Myths. Why don't we just start there? You know, you've you've traveled the world. You've seen uh, people living, uh, you know, way past their ages. How do they do it? What, you know, how do we, let's start with the mindset first. Yeah, well, what you believe is what you're going to take action on. And then it goes from belief to knowledge and then knowledge to action. So, you know, we all, we're all told that we are, you know, supposed to age like everybody else around us. We're supposed to have various things happen at different stages of our life because that's what everybody else does. But we have to realize that we are unique individuals. We have a, a you know, we're dealt a hand of cards that we are going to be using in our DNA. And there are things like genetics and epigenetics. There are, uh, you know, all kinds of things that affect us environmentally. And we see around us all the time the thing that, that confirms the idea that we should get old and, and fall apart because we see people getting old and falling apart all the time. We see everything wearing out. Cars wear out. They rust. Parts break. Clothing wears out. People age and die. This is ongoing. So we're very conditioned to believe in in what you mentioned are the myths. The myths, though, are those things where you think you have to go at certain ages, certain things that you're old now or whatever it is. It's nothing to do with that. The longer you're on the earth depends upon how much you've used your time to either improve your situation, which you're totally responsible for, or allow the deterioration of your situation of your situation, which you're also responsible for. So at the end of the day, you're the one who gets the reward or pays the price. And I ended up being in a situation at 46 where I was gonna have to pay a price I couldn't afford, which was a a termination of my physical existence within three years because I hadn't been paying attention to my body's health. And I had genetic predispositions that did not allow me to get away with things. So I had to learn to compensate. I was just going to ask you how uh, how much genetic plays in this. You know, I hear it all the time. People tell me, well, you know, you got good genes. Um, maybe I do. Maybe you do. I don't know. But how much uh, do you think genes play in, in uh, a part in uh, in our health? Well, they play a huge role. And, and the reason they play a huge role is because each one of us are so uniquely different. And some people do die younger uh, than, they, than other people. But they can still compensate for that, that genetic predisposition with epigenetics by taking, watching their terrain, the environment they're in, the internal environment. What are you putting in your body for food? How are you getting sleep? Are you managing your stress? Are you making sure you're processing all your traumas? Are you, are you in a flow of generosity and giving? Or are you in, in a state of fear and concern and greed and selfishness because you think you have to be that way to survive in it? In a very untoward world so whatever environment you're you're creating around you and the people you hang around are going to dramatically affect how you're thinking how you're acting because there are multiple iterations of influences in our thinking in our belief patterns in our understanding that cause us to act in certain ways so it is up to each individual to find out the resource available to them with the real data that they can make intelligent decisions because We're a series of decisions and we're a series of habits. If we have a series of very good habits, we get very good results. If we have an iteration of multiply good, wise decisions and intelligent knowledge, then we see the results from that. So it is we want to be the best we can and the best value to everyone around us. Yes, yeah, it's, it's my uh, my. I, I look around. I think I think a lot of people have kind of mediocre habits. Um, mm-hmm. the, you know, the habits that just get by, right? Yeah. So they're not really unhealthy, but they're not really healthy. They're somewhere in the mm-hmm. mediocre state. So I, I think you know how how do you how do you uh, go about helping people to change that up? I mean, you know, what what do you say to them? Well, you well you look at your life. Like from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep at night. 
you are a series of patterns, habit patterns. We, we are a series of habits. We do, we have routines. We do this, 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 and this. You mentioned mediocrity, which is milk toast, which is vanilla, which is middle of the road, which is what everybody else does. And therefore we can expect what average would happen to society. You know, the doctors in my forties told me, oh, there's all kinds of guys in their forties die of heart attacks and cancer and all that stuff. You know, this is nothing new. Okay. Well, what does that got to do with me? <laughs> I'm not part of whatever. I'm not a number. I'm not a statistic unless I make myself one. If I allow them to take responsibility for me and then they do all these barbaric things to me with pharmaceuticals and surgeries and radiation and chemotherapies or whatever they want to do, I would have been dead. You know, so I didn't have cancer. I had fungal infections, heavy metal infections. Uh, I had bacterial overgrowth. I had all kinds of interruptions within my system that were causing everything to fall apart. It's like, okay, so that's, that was my responsibility. I created that. I like it. Well, listen, I got to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the inner and outer environments that promote health, wellness, and vitality. So we'll take a break. And uh, when I come back, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. There comes a time when you know you need to restart and regain control of your life. A time to seek freedom from the anxiety, addiction, and other issues that may be bringing you down. A time to heal and re-emerge as the real you. Villa Kalima is a holistic residential recovery program exclusively for women for individualized treatment. Villa Kalima offers proven clinical and holistic therapies for the mind, body, and spirit to assure sustainable recovery. Villa Kalima focuses on healing the cause, not temporarily masking symptoms. It's the only way to truly recover and find yourself again. Villa Kalima is located in a beautiful, peaceful, resort-like setting and is a licensed and accredited residential treatment center accepting a variety of health insurances. Start your healing and renewal today by calling Villa Kalima in La Costa, California at 760-814-8214. 760-814-8214. Villa Kalima, a place for transformation. All righty, well, we're back here with the CEO of Activation Products, Ian Clark, and we're talking about how we can dispel some of these health and aging myths. And right now I want to find out what your thoughts around environment, the inner environment and the outer environments that promote healthy lifestyles. Well, it's all energetic. So you've got more bacteria in your body than you have human cells. And inside that bacteria, they're, they're living bacteria with intelligence. And that's how you digest all your food. That's how you distribute all the wealth of nutrition throughout your system. So you got to have a very, very healthy terrain with all the, all the friendly bacteria and all the right types of bacteria in the right place at the right time. There are so many things that, <clears throat> that hinder that, like from the environmental toxins that we breathe in all the time <clears throat> to the water we drink, to the food we eat, to the pesticides and herbicides, who knows the things that we're getting hit with. So we have to compensate for those things. We have to deliberately, purposefully compensate for them. And that means probiotics and enzymes and and making sure we're taking food in that's going to hydrate us with the waters and the, all the fluids so that that part of the system is good. We don't want to be poisoning ourselves. And we can't help but to breathe rubber dust and brake dust and construction material and fuels and all that stuff because we're exposed to that. But we do have to compensate for it. So there's a what I learned how to do is how to cleanse and nourish every day. 
instead of instead of waiting and going, you know, I should do a detox, you know, twice a year, or maybe I'll just every three years I'll do this big cleanse. I don't believe in that stuff anymore because your body wants to be cleansed and nourished on a daily basis. And if you do that all the time, you don't get these big healing crises. We got to take two weeks off and and you know feel like crap for two weeks while you're getting all this junk out of your system. And because I've, I've done all that. And that was very painful and there was a lot of downtime and I suffered because I didn't know how to do those things. So then I do thought, you, do you about, think somebody needs to kickstart it with a, with a fast or a cleanse or can they go on uh, some, uh, you know, I know you've created some amazing products, start to take that. That'll help them to start to daily detox. No, I never recommend anything extreme out of the gate because the body is not ready for it. You got to get the doors and windows open. You have to get the oils flowing in. you've got to mm -hmm. get the phytonutrients the hydration, the, the elemental stuff, you know, your mineral matrixes, all, all the different must haves of nutrition and vitamins, <clears throat> not going down to the vitamin store and buying a vitamin, multivitamin. Most of those things are toxic and synthetic and not good for you, but you start gently, you know, it's like you would never go down and suddenly start lifting heavy weights in the gym. All of a sudden, when you haven't got mobility and agility and flexibility, you'll tear muscles, you'll, rip joints you'll do all that stuff if you do that so it's being respectful and gentle and starting out with the basics so well, I, that, I, that makes so much sense uh, yeah 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 you know and i started out with oceans alive i didn't even it wasn't called oceans Live at the time it was marine phytoplankton and all i knew is i didn't understand the science at all now i have a great deal of understanding of the science of why it works but i started taking it and within 90 days I just noticed that my battery felt like it was charged up. I didn't even know I had a battery, but I felt like my battery was charged up because I had energy and, and, you know, courage and mental strength and joy. And, and I was enthusiastic about things that I wasn't before. And I woke up every morning ready for the day, regardless of how much stress it was around me. And that was this huge awakening to, wow, what, what is that? Why is it doing that? And it turned out because it has every nutritional molecule known to all research. It also has all your essential amino acids, fatty acids, pigments, minerals, all, all the plant-based stuff because it's all plant-based. It just goes into your body and your body identifies it and uses it and sends it all over the place. And it just does whatever work is needed. And, and I, I, everyone I speak to who does 90 days of that is on it for life because it's food. It's actually it's the foundational nutrition for the whole body. Instead of trying to find it where I'm gapping up here, I want the foundation laid that floods the entire system. It's like the whole orchestra playing at once instead of taking this vitamin and that mineral and this over here, trying to piecemeal it, mm -hmm. where your body's trying to figure out all these single notes. You just want to go to the symphony, hear the whole orchestra playing and get into the whole theme of everything and let your body do the automatic work because your body is so intelligent. Everyone's body is hyper intelligent. I, I have a question for you. How did you discover Ocean's Eleven? Well, Ocean's Alive? A lot. I'm sorry. Well, it, actually, it's interesting you said that. There wasn't a mistake. So the year that year, Ocean's Eleven came out as a movie, and there was another product called E3 Live. Mm -hmm. E3 Live is a uh, cyanobacteria that's grown in Klamath Lake that people use for. It's like a chlorella spirulina type vibe, and it's a good thing, but it's very limited in its nutritional spectrum. But it's really good. And so when I saw the marine phytoplankton and found that it comes from the ocean, not from fresh water. And, and I thought, ocean, and it's living. And it was like Ocean's Eleven. And that's, that kind of sounds like Ocean's Alive. And it's like E3 Live. And that's how it started. That was in 2007. Ocean's Alive was born. <laughs> I'm glad I said that. that. I guess there's no accidents here. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's kind of and so, and so um, uh, you know, I know you've sold hundreds of thousands of, of Ocean's Alive. What, what kind of, uh, you know, testimonials are people telling you about this over the years? Well, there, there's been some really crazy testimonials that we can't publish because they've made all kinds of claims with all kinds of diseases gone and all this stuff. But I don't believe in that stuff because the reason I, I don't I know I know that happened with them. I know it helped them at those levels, but there's no possible way that I could come and tell you, well, this, you know, Joe had this and Bill had that and Sue had this and Jane had that. And it's going to do the same for you. There's no way because everyone's so uniquely different. The main things that we get all the time and the reason people are on it for life is because it gives them a mental joy and the battery charge that never goes away. Mm -hmm. It just always it gets up to a certain level and it just stays there. 
so you can tap in. You don't need the stimulants and the coffees and all that stuff when you're on a steady growth. We've even had people who took it five times a day in the middle of a major project that they were doing where they had all their brain power being used and, and a lot of stress, and it just powered them right through it. It's mm -hmm. that powerful. And you're only talking like droppers of this stuff in the water, and you're drinking it. And so you just mask it with as a very ocean taste, which I love. A lot of people don't like the ocean taste, like they don't like nori and kelp. Uh, but I love those things. So if you love those things, you'll love the taste of Oceans Alive. But then, I, you know, people just put it in like tomato juice or apple juice or coconut water and down the hatch. Or they put in a little bit of water, they shoot it back and then wash it down and it's gone. Just as long as you get it in your body. Uh, I, I had one, one woman, which was really interesting. She had all these little skin tags that kept coming on her face that she could uh -huh. never get rid of. She, got, she was in her mid-50s. She went to, you know, the dermatologist. She went to everybody. Had all the money in the world. And for some reason, she was inspired. I never told her to do this, and I didn't know you could do this. She took two drops every single day before she went to bed and put it in her night cream and just blended it into the night cream, put it on her skin, and within two months, all the skin tags were gone. So oh, wow. That's interesting. That. Well, you know, I have a question about that. I do have to take a break, but when we come back, I want to ask you a little bit about, you know, COVID had a lot of side effects for people. COVID mm -hmm. toes, losing taste, losing smell, sense of smell. Um, hair falling out, a lot of, lot of different things. I'm just wondering if any of those products um, would be of any kind of a benefit for somebody that uh, uh, might have some of those symptoms. So we'll, I'll let you answer that when we come back. Have you recently used your phone, computer, and Wi-Fi and wondered if they might be affecting your sleep focus or possibly even your well-being? Living Design Technology has investigated recent developments in how electromagnetic energy coming from a variety of sources, including cell phone, Wi-Fi, microwave, radio, and TV, are impacting people and their environment. They have developed simple, effective tools that support the harmonizing of the electromagnetic energies present in your home, office, and car. Living Design Technology works by providing the information nature needs to balance the electromagnetic energies in your environment. It's amazing. Nature is actually doing the work when Living Design Technology is present. Find out more at livingdesigntechnology.com forward slash courage and put in the code COURAGE to get 20% off your first order. excited about this conversation i'm just thinking that there's a lot of people listening right now that are going hmm maybe i could try something a little different and shift things up um you know i know you can't make any claims about you know your products are actually uh you know healing anything around covid or anything like that but i, I do want to just talk a little bit about that you know there are side effects that you know that when the body body is so impacted by viruses and you know it um, how can how can activation products support you know the building of an immune system or support uh, vitality in the body? Well, you know, long before COVID was even mentioned, uh, I was doing some really deep dive analysis on statistical evidence of what was killing people, what was making them very sick, what was causing downtime, what was chronic, what was acute, and I just broke it down into all these different numbers. I found out that there's seventeen thousand seven hundred people a day dying from lower respiratory and lung disease, not including cancer, every day, 17,700 people a day. So when we see all these agendas come up and people want to put the camera on something to scare people or control society, 
then that makes a focus, which actually was very interesting because now people started to become aware that this lung thing is a big issue. And then all the side effects, wow, the side effects of the drugs people take or the antibiotics or the various things that people are trying to remediate the feeling of being sick or, you know, not dying because there's 17,700 people die every day. That means over hundred million people are sick with that same thing who didn't die because 99.3% of the population lives year over year and only 60, 60 million people die per year. Anyway, that's pretty boring statistics, but it's important because then it gives you the frame of what can you do ongoing to not only prevent getting sick or prevent symptoms or after effects or side effects is to cleanse and nourish. Now, the thing that we have that I've seen work the best out of anything we've got is black cumin seed oil, which is an but it's also known as black seed oil. We have the top in the world because of the press technology we press the seeds with and where we source the seeds from is top, top end period. No one has anything even close to the, to the stream that we have to make sure we have this super high end version of the oil. And it's, and it's the same price it's, it's totally affordable, but we make it very efficiently. That oil with honey. Now you can choose Manuka honey, your local honey. We have a limited supply of Greek honey, which is super effective. It's four times more medicinal than uh, the stuff from, from New Zealand, but you put that together. You do one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of the black cumin oil half an hour before you get to bed each night. And we get rave reviews of people's bodies just getting healthier and healthier and healthier. As the body gets healthier, it, all these symptoms and side effects and everything goes away. So the body is able to cure itself of those things because the body is always trying to get back to its original state of health and vitality, and we have to support it. So that's one of the biggest supports is the black seed oil, black cumin seed oil from Perfect Press and the and then we have this uh, Panabe honey from Greece. Now that's like, and they work together. The reason that you take them together is because they amplify each other. Now, each one of those things work alone. You can just take black seed oil alone and it works very effectively. It just gets amped up with honey. And then you can find honey in the local area. Just make sure that it's organic and tree honeys are the best if possible. So that, wow. that's what we've seen, just huge results. Wow, that's awesome. Um, you know, I've got, I've got to close out this segment of the show. Um, I'm wondering if you can stay on for a few minutes to, for, I have another segment I'd like to do around this. Is, are you available sure. at all? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll, uh, we'll get this next segment going. So for those of you that have been watching Voices of Courage for a while, I want to thank you so much for letting your family and your friends and everybody know about this show. You know, this show has actually exploded across the nation and across the world. We're being picked up by new networks all the time. And that's because of you, because you've been out there uh, letting your family and friends know about this show and, and supporting us. So we encourage you to follow us, uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel if you can, and or go to voicesofcourage.us. And there you can be a uh, member there. We've got some uh, member benefits there on that site. So I hope you'll check us out. And uh, what else do I want to say to you? I, I just thank you so much for tuning in. And from my heart to yours, I hope you continue to look for and seek in your life to see the unseeable, to know the unknowable, and to do the impossible. Take care. Till next time. Everybody. I'm talking to the CEO of Activation Products, Ian Clark. We're talking about how to dispel health and aging myths. We just were talking about black cumin and uh, the power behind that. So, 
is all is all aging would you say at the cellular level is that really where it, it's happening uh you, you know I, i'm just curious about that what's your thought on that there's a hundred percent there ken definitely because <clears throat> every cell has millions of mitochondria in it every cell produces atp energy every cell has a certain length of life and then it goes into apoptosis and then gets replaced if it hangs in there half dead that that is a total disaster. And that's what happens with people. They don't have an efficient replacement. The cell doesn't live long enough or it gets unhealthy and doesn't die quick enough and to, to be replaced. So cellular energy and cellular health is your, your, they say you have, we have a hundred trillion cells. I don't know quite how they counted it, but it doesn't matter We're we got a lot of cells and each type of cell has to be, has to be kept rejuvenated in its own thing. And they say that our body replaces itself every seven years. Okay. But if it's replacing malfunctioning things, because it's still in that bent distorted matrix, you want to get all the distortions and adhesions out of your system. So you're responsible to do that for yourself. If you let it go too long, you'll get a cancer diagnosis, a heart disease diagnosis, you'll get a stroke, you'll get whatever, all these maladies that can put you down or even kill you and like blood clots and all these things that can go on that are very strange and very horrible. So the, the goal with us is to live a full day every day, as long as we're alive, get as many days as possible. And then the day we're going to move on and leave this temporal realm in these physical bodies, it's just a sharp drop off. Either you die in your sleep overnight with no pain at 120 years old or 110 or 100 or whatever the number is. And that's it. And you've had a very good, fulfilled life. You've been understood and respected and loved throughout your life. You've loved and respected and understood those around you. You know, you're heard, you're appreciated. All those things that you want to have because you want to emanate value to everyone around you. It's not, a, it's not how much money a person makes or accumulates. It's how much value you produce through your knowledge and wisdom and energy to create that, that energy and that value to everyone around you. That's the measurement measurement tool. Well, you know, you're, you're talking about uh, some traditions. I don't know what you call them traditions, some ways of living that uh, are kind of new to some people on the planet. I mean, you know, the yogis uh, for years, they would uh, uh, just, you know, leave their body when they were ready to, to leave their body. They mastered that. Um, the American uh, Native Americans would go off in the forest and when they were ready to leave their body, they'd leave their body. So you're talking about something that uh, is is ancient. It's been with us for a long time. We've just kind of got away from that and, you know, uh, forgot that. But it, it is there. That's I do know that that's true. Yeah. Well, I watched my mom do that live time in, in her 100th year just recently. And she was doing great her whole life, mental clarity, physical ability. And then when she stopped moving around, she started getting a little bit stiff and sore, but that was the only problem that she had was mobility. And she could yeah. still move around and do all of her stuff. But the yeah. last month that she was on the earth, which started in December, between December 13th and January 14th, she made a decision, I'm just going to die. There was no reason physically for her to do that. She had every ability to carry on and do very well, but something happened in her mind and there was some kind of a trauma that happened with some of her daughters and weird things happened. And she just made the decision, I'm done. As soon as that happened, I watched her, her, you know, started eating less, having less enthusiasm, less interest, all the way down to the very last day. And because she wasn't moving around anymore, she got a blood clot in her left leg at the lower part, which finally released, filled up her head with this, this dead blood. And it just stopped her from, from living within 24 hours. So there was almost no suffering at all. I mean, I wouldn't even call it suffering. She was totally taken care of, but she couldn't swallow or speak the last 24 hours. And then she was taken out and it was like pure mercy. So I saw that. I was like, wow, that, that actually just happened. Exactly what we talked about. You know, she went to sleep and then she was sleeping for maybe half an hour and then that was it. And we got to spend the time with her and talk to her and do all those things and spent every day for the last year with her. So we've seen those things happen. They do happen. Uh, her brothers uh, were two were two younger brothers. She was the oldest out of three. They died at 51 and 54 in 1978, two days apart. One died on the other's funeral, both of cancer, because they didn't watch their systems. I'm similar to them. So I have to watch my system. I have to be very careful and cognizant. We take care of things. You know, my mom had never touched a drop of alcohol in her life, 
never never smoked a cigarette, never did any of the stuff that she thought was toxic or, or bad for you. And she had such a great time. She did so many activities in her life. Well, you know, we there was a book written years ago uh, called the, about the Blue Zones. One of the Blue Zones is right in uh, in California at the Seventh Day Adventist in Loma Linda, right. and you know they have the same the same practices, same practices that I practice. Right? You're not drinking, you're not smoking, you're not doing things to excess. You're watching what you put in your body and your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, you're you're le leading a balanced life. You exercise. You get sunlight, and uh, and you constantly learn. That's what mm -hmm. I love about this show. I love having you on because I constantly learn, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that that's, that's part of the formula here. Yeah, yeah it's all to share the, the wealth of information that we all have. Everyone has their own unique amount of wealth because they've had their own unique experience, but they have to be stimulated and somebody has to pull that out of them. We all have it. Everyone's got super gifts. It's just that a lot of people don't discover them for some reason. You know, maybe they have to go through a traumatic event to have that manifested what it is. But yeah, bringing the value and sharing the knowledge and the wisdom is the key. And yeah. being able to see and discern through all the stuff that's distracting you from those things. Because there's a million and one distractions. There's a really. million There's a million and one, and we all get distracted. But it's not about getting distracted. It's about getting back on the horse if mm -hmm. you fall off. That's all it is. Just exactly. get right back on. Yep. You know, you, 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 and give the dog a bone sometimes. You know, if you need to go eat a pie, go eat a pie. But <laughs> get back on the horse. And, and lead a balanced lifestyle. I think that's that's the message. Listen, I got to take a quick break. We'll come right back, finish our last segment, and uh, we'll. Uh, I want to. When we finish this last segment, though, I want to get your your understanding, your your wisdom that you've learned about health and nutrition. Um, and let's talk about that. So we'll be right back. I've written a new book. It's called The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Unlock Your Genius, Your Soul, and to Transform Your Life. So it's daily strategies. I wrote this specifically because over the years I've noticed in my own life and in the lives of my clients that, listen, a little inspiration doesn't get it. A little wisdom doesn't get it. A little action doesn't get it. It's daily, dripping on the mind, dripping on those actions, taking specific focused actions towards your dreams and setting specific goals, right? Goals help us to transform the little self into the possibilities that we have in each of us. All of us are given dreams. And if you're sitting there and you're not manifesting that dream, it's just a little bit of you is chipping away every day that's not happening until you finally wake up and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to connect with something greater than myself, my force, my God, my life, my universe, whatever. I don't care what you call it. You tune into that force and that's what's going to get you to the next level. All right. Well, we're talking about uh, health and vitality and how to maybe switch up your lifestyle and maybe get in that place. Uh, don't get in that place where you're just motivated by pain. Just get in the mm -hmm. place now that it's time to make the change. And if you make the change, you're going to feel better about yourself. Your life's going to get better. You're going to be happier. And, um, you know, that, that question I had before the break, uh, you've gone through health challenges. You've learned a lot. What, what have you learned about health that will, can really help my audience uh, maybe take their lives to the next level? Hmm. Well, it's to move the biggest rocks first. And that takes little steps, but you're going to move big rocks. You breathe 11,000 liters of air a day and you have 86,000 heartbeats times billions because each little pulse throughout your system is moving blood, which transfers all the oxygen and gets rid of all the, the waste product and brings nutrients and gets rid of them. So think about your, your respiratory health 
and your cardiovascular. And then from there, you go to digestive health. So they're all three very greatly tied together. So uh, respiratory health, things like I took black cumin seed oil, and then I use ease every day because the magnesium allows everything to relax and release because your cardiovascular system can get hardened in the arteries and get very stiff and you get hypertension because you get low on magnesium. There's magnesium ties into all functions of the body and you can do it transdermally with this product that we created as a result called ease. And then the oceans alive and the black cumin seed oil, that's, that's our three big, big rock movers because they get your cardiovascular working better and they just get every single part of your main systems that you do more than anything of working very, very well. Then after you get the, the three big ones, you know, your, your, well, your, your biggest ones you're thinking, but your, your breathing, your circulation of blood and lymph, lymph fluids, movement of fluids, and then the movement of food through your system, you just want to have all those systems tied together and running super well. So you're eliminating properly, you have no buildup of any toxins in your system, you're getting the proper nutrition. And I do a lot of things as I, as I learn more, I implemented more things, but there are must haves that everyone needs to, needs to make sure they've got, because those are going to keep your system foundationally strong, fill all the gaps. So when you're building health and, and vitality on top of that, you don't have any cracks in the foundation. So the whole infrastructure is strong. And the final thing that I highly recommend for the cardiovascular is perfect K2 D3. Vitamin K2 and vitamin D3 go hand in hand. D3 will release, it does many other things, but it releases calcium. K2 directs calcium. So you don't get calcium with hardening of the arteries. The calcium goes back into the bone, comes out of the joints, goes back in the bone, comes out of the muscle, goes back in the bone properly. So all your elemental stuff, calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, all these different things are balanced in the places where they're supposed to be automatically when you give direction. So you have to have producers and directors and then good actors. And all these enzymes and all the probiotics and all the things in your system that work in hand in hand with those, they are optimized and then your whole body lights up. Now, the way you tell is how you look, how you feel. Nothing feels as good as feeling good. And looking good emphasizes that you're feeling good. The glow, how just your whole presence, Everything about, you know, your skin is a, is a very major part of it. Your eyes, your thought patterns, all that is all tied into health. So you want to be holistically healthy front to back in every category, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, environmentally, domestically, and so on. You know, I, I think uh, there's two key elements to health and vitality uh, from the mental side, and that is uh, commitment. Uh, mm -hmm. Number one, you got to be committed. And number two, you've got to be consistent, committed and consistency, mm -hmm. right? And they go hand in hand. There's two yeah. sides of a coin. But if you can, if you can do that, in, in the way I like to do it myself is when I find a product that works, I make a commitment to it. And, and I, you know, then I'll buy uh, several bottles of it, right? Or, or tablets or whatever mm -hmm. I'm taking at the time. Um, but that's my commitment. And then the consistency is every day, right? Mm -hmm. I just I just find that that works in my life. Have you found that word that formulas in yours too? Or For sure. In the third actually, C. you know what? We're out of time. I'm going to have to end that. Yeah. But yeah, answer that real quick, Ian. Well, the third C is continuity. But yes, I agree 100. Yeah. percent Continuity. I love that. Ian, again, uh, I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. You've added a lot of value here, like you always do. And uh, any uh, uh, one final thought. Take care. Until next time, see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and you will be able to do the impossible if you continue to watch this show.